In this world, nightmares lurk. They hide in our neighborhoods, walk our streets, wear our faces. But they are not us. They're the world's best kept secret, and we are gonna find them. Welcome to Uncanny Valley Cancer Cell. Welcome, this is a Chronicles of Darkness tabletop campaign played in the Hunter the Vigil storyteller system. And this week, we are finally going to get to Chicago. Finally. So, Chicago. does anyone have any last business in St. Louis before you all depart? Uh, sleeping off the alcohol. <laughs> That's probably a good idea for you, or <laughs> yeah. most of you yeah. could do, yeah. in fact. Crawling into my bunk and attempting to sleep off the horror. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for bringing that up. Why don't you make an integrity check for me? Yeah. That yeah. bad, huh? Uh, he got thrown into the hedge. Well, yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying. The date was quite nice. Thank you. I'm going to sleep. <laughs> it, does, it doesn't sound like the date was nice at all. <laughs> <laughs> One. One success. Ooh. That is just enough. Um, did we get you out of the hedge last episode, or did yeah. we leave yeah. you? Yeah. Yes. Just barely, yeah. but I, 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 I fell through, and I don't know what happened after that. Okay, so that's where we'll pick up. And then she was gone. Uh, has, has has he returned to the to the bus or anything yet? No, so it is the next morning, and he has not returned yet. Guys... Guys, yeah. where's Mason? So, Mason, you pop out, mm-hmm. uh, and you remember being in there at dusk. You felt like you were there for a couple of minutes at most. But when you walk out, you see the sun rising over the river. <clears throat> and you can presume that, at first, you don't think any time has passed. But as you begin to walk home, you notice the sun is going up rather than down. And huh. it occurs to you that you were gone a lot longer than you thought. Hmm. Huh? You okay. don't see any sign of um, the woman you were with anywhere. Uh, okay, well, uh, I'm going to make it back to the... Oh, really? Okay, yeah, make it back to the uh, place we're staying. So he walks the walk of shame for you guys <laughs> in the same clothes he was wearing yesterday. It's about 9 a.m. Uh, by the time he gets back? Yeah, when he walks in the, the van. Bus. Even awake? <laughs> uh, if they're not awake, I would just like to sneak over to my bed and pe- fall over. Oh, I've got an idea. Is anyone definitely awake at 9 a.m.? Uh, definitely. Uh, no. Yeah. no. Vic no. and Wolf, definitely. Okay. Vic definitely uh, Wolf's the only one. Aw- Wolf, I'm going to argue, would be awake because he was the most sober one. True. Yeah. yeah everybody else got at uh, least drunk. But Vic is a health nut. Vic is a health nut and he goes on and he does go on runs regularly. And he's been kind of neglecting that lately. So I would say that if he's getting back at nine, Vic is probably just coming back and he's like in his sh- shorts and like a tank top and then and just sweating bullets. And he's like, oh, God, there you are. Sure, if you beat my stealth roll. Oh, okay. oh you're going to try and sneak in. <laughs> All right. What do I roll against that? Uh, you got to be three uh, successes, It would be uh, Wits uh, Composure. Yeah, Wits Composure is our perception Is this going to be some, like, Mission Impossible shit where you, like, rappel down through the skylight <laughs> of the bus? <laughs> Man, Mason, I, can, I, I don't have a lot of options. I'm turning really... out to be a sketchy dude. <laughs> Only one success. All right. Well. So you don't see Mason. He probably just runs, like, right past right him. Past, it's yeah. just like he has that tunnel vision by the that you get by the end of your run where you're just like, oh, God, just let it end. <laughs> And I slip back to my bunk quietly and sit down and then lie down. What was, um, what was Wolf? Wolf's perception? However, <laughs> Wolf is making breakfast for uh, William. Sure. So, isn't the kitchen in the front of the bus? It is, in fact, in the front of the bus. Dun, so, dun, dun, what's going to stealth go going? <laughs> Huh? <laughs> well, if you're still right. stealthing, if you want me, if to you're roll, stealthing, I, I don't care. I gave you uh, three successes against him. If you want to apply that now, let's go. If not, I'll yeah, do it again. all right, I'll give it a roll. I'll give it a roll. Uh, what, what is the notice roll again, Buckle? Uh, wits and uh, composure. Okay. And John, I will need a separate sneak at a minus two because you're walking into a small space that he's standing in the middle of. <laughs> if you pull this off, I swear to God. No, no successes. Okay. 
No, I just see how. How do you do this? Well, well, how does JD outrun? You know, a true fae. I just kind of imagine like Persona Five. It was a wooden area. Shadow. <laughs> <laughs> With grit. They didn't know about. Okay, boy. two successes. <laughs> how many? Yeah. So yeah, you see him. Oh. So, you have fun last night. I'd rather. He's not. standing there in a bath. In uh, gym shorts, a bathrobe, and a skillet of eggs. I walk over, I grab a plate, and I just scoop some of your eggs out of your pan. <laughs> and then I down it and set the plate down and walk back to my bed. <laughs> I have no words for what happened to me. <laughs> and if my demeanor doesn't reflect that, I'm shocked. <laughs> Wolf is just kind of gonna nod a little. Didn't know he had it in him. <laughs> at this, at this point, <laughs> the things going through Wolf's mind. <laughs> International Women's Day. Well, he... <laughs> <laughs> well, so Wolf just just had a clandestine meeting of his own, so I'm sure he's yep. pretty comfortable with this. <laughs> Uh, mm-hmm. At this point, Vic comes r- just comes like right back in. Just is is not quiet about opening the door, <laughs> and it's just like, oh, good. Wait's only in mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> and then he goes back into the back. Wolf's just gonna look to William and go, "I'm not making him eggs." <laughs> William goes, "Oh, oh, uh, well, you know, I will." I bet he'd no, really like no, that. No, 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 you won't. No, You're you sure? Won't. He seemed really sweaty and and like like in need of nourishment. At least that's... And he's an adult, and he'll take care of himself. <laughs> Eat your eggs. Normal state. The water in the shower is always cold. Yes, sir. He says and grabs the plate. But you know, Mom always said to look after the pack. Oh. oh. I am looking after the pack. I'm I teaching hear... him self reliance. Oh, I'm not your pack. You were talking about him. Okay, yeah, it's so No, fun. you're part of the pack, that's, too. That's you're part great. of the pack, too. That's, don't, no, no, you don't I wouldn't have, make you eggs if you, you weren't part have, of the pack. You don't have to lie to me. I understand. Oh, boy. Oh, These eggs are really good, by the way, sir. <laughs> so, 30 minutes of no, no, no. I might, be, I might not be your dad, but you are my child. Later. <laughs> yes, we'll skip all that. Yeah, let's just... <laughs> no one needs that. About 45 minutes later, Darla comes out in her pajamas, hair just everywhere. And goes, hey... Oh shit, it's Hermione Granger! Yeah, shut up! <laughs> hey, can you... Can you make French toast? I mean, I can. What? I don't know if I will. Do you want a cigarette? <laughs> Yeah, sure, okay. Trade ya. <laughs> Alright. And Darla lights a cigarette, and she, like, does that thing where she, like, lights another cigarette off of her cigarette. She just sticks it in his mouth while he's making French toast. <laughs> Alright. Wolf opens up a window, and he, uh, makes her some pretty mediocre French toast. He's not a great chef. Uh, Darla just fucking wolfs it down. <laughs> like, she doesn't even use utensils. She just picks it up with her hand. <laughs> JD gets out of... He's in one of the front beds. He'll get out of the bed. This is, like, right there. He'll walk over wordlessly, grab whatever food there's there, and then crawl back into the bed. <laughs> <laughs> the, the beds, I should say, have little privacy curtains. Yes, yes. So you can, like, shut Yeah, no, no, no. It'll, 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 you won't even you won't even move the curtain. You'll just like crawl out from <laughs> <laughs> and then crawl back in through the curtain. And he has to like untuck it from under him as he rolls in. Oh god. Awesome. We're all just hissing at the sunlight on our way out. <laughs> Wolf is just Wolf is just shaking his head like he's not he's not even, he's like two years older than everyone else. He's wondering like why is he the only one who can hold his liquor and have a ha- have a hookup and not be a mess in the morning? <laughs> <laughs> You've seen some shit, okay? This is trauma. Uh, I, I just know got my life. I just did a five k. <laughs> <laughs> was, if that's what hookups are like. I'm never doing it again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I... You innocent boy. <laughs> Mason's had no time. Mason, Mason is adorable. I love him. 
<laughs> so with that in mind, I assume you all sober up and then get on the road? <laughs> yep. yep. Yeah, like yeah. eight hours yep. later. <laughs> <laughs> well, right. we have Mr. Oh, my, my, I can hold my liquor so good to drive the first leg. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> but, all right. I mean, William's learning how to drive. Okay. So we'll drive, drive to the first. William how to drive. Before I go to sleep, I'm texting Charlie where we're headed and that we need to talk soon. Uh, yeah, he's, he gives you the thumbs up emoji, and that's about it. <sighs> Alright, Buckle, where are we going? Uh, well... Can we have a conversation on the road? Yes, you can. Uh, Vic wants to approach Mason. Am I awake? It, would he be? Uh, that's your choice, man. I, I, I don't run your uh, mind. Would, there, would <laughs> there be a point in time where he would be get up and around? If I could overcome the trauma, I'd like to go to sleep. Yeah. All right. So he's okay. asleep. So okay. I'm currently asleep. Trip. Yeah, sure. Okay. Well, it's, uh, let's see, four hours. I think it's four hours from St. Louis to, to Chicago. Yeah, thereabouts. Yeah. So plenty of time for sleep. As far as you know, uh, I'm just sleeping that, in. Yep. Sleep off that trauma. Well, you don't know. You just know that everyone else woke up at nine-ish, and I didn't. Well, he knows <laughs> you weren't home when he went to bed last night. Was oh, that true? Yeah. Now we got in before you. He's got curtains, so. though. He might not. Oh. Huh. I mean, who doesn't love a good stress nap? I just, I think it's it's plausible that the rest of the party recognized you were not home last night because oh. you left. They all noted you leaving. Mm-hmm. They all had a party, came back, and you still weren't there. I think it's pretty obvious that they would check for you when they entered the the van. Or, sure. Yeah, because that's just what you do when you're traveling with someone. Right. You know. I just sorry. I just had a, imagined a home alone moment where that we're like we're halfway to Chicago and we're like oh, we forgot Mason. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, now you're giving me ideas. <laughs> <laughs> don't split the party. <laughs> yeah, I mean, covering up that would have. Don't leave part of the party in St. Louis. <laughs> <laughs> covering that up would be a nightmare, but it would be pretty funny. So. <laughs> Agreed. So, anyway, uh, you all are driving into Chicago. We have a little intro for you. Uh, speak it, Buckle. I know it's a new, it's a new slam that poetry chapter. Oh, well, now I <laughs> that's what they say at the slam poetry exhibitions, correct? Now I don't slam that poetry. I don't want to do it anymore. Slam poetry. <laughs> you, you, now I feel really weird. No, Buckle, it's good. Here's my slam poetry. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> that hurt. That's good slamming. <laughs> slam so good. Okay. Okay. Slam it. Good. A proud edifice standing sentinel against the gusty winds of Lake Michigan, Chicago has always been a city of opportunity. Illinois' own stone and steel dedication to the American dream. Some say the Windy City exemplifies our ideals of upward mobility and bootstrap ingenuity, a place made wealthy by globalization. However, Our perceptions do not always match our objective truths. And our actions sometimes look a good deal less noble to someone else's eye. And in Chicago, beneath the upward-reaching fingers of gleaming skyscrapers and luxurious condominiums, there lies a long history of poverty, economic oppression, racism, and gang violence. We like to think our culture is evolving, that we as Americans are progressing beyond our ancestors' mistakes. But even in our great cities, oftentimes very little has changed. The rich become richer, and everyone else cleans their houses, cooks their fast food, welds their cars. As you speed across Chicago's famous bridges and take in the majesty of architectural marvels, and artistic monuments. I hope you all also see the plastic bottles floating in the river, the transient man sleeping on the cold sidewalk, the teenager with a third-hand backpack that walks two extra miles home so he doesn't trespass on a rival's turf. The stratosphere of this city is available to you, from the most decadent penthouse clubs to the humble rat-infested gutters. Which side of this mirrored city you see is entirely up to you. What would you all like to do now that you're well here? Well done. So we have a we have an open day in Chicago. We have an open day in Chicago. An open day in Chicago. Okay. Hmm. Well, as we're kind of coming into the city, probably about like an hour or so beforehand, um, I'd like to text 
somebody mm-hmm. and ask them to meet me at uh, a local restaurant, just any type of burger place, whatever. Let them kind of decide since they know the place better. Sure. Um, you get a text back recommending a, a joint called Slam Burger on Main Street. Okay. And I'll just let them know. Yeah, we're about to roll into town next few hours and keep lunch open. Cool. So you all arrive and uh, you find yourself in a, a sort of RV park um, outside of town in the, the sort of suburban. Uh, it's a little bit of a rundown uh, suburban area outside the city, but it has a, uh, a metro connection to the L train by which you all are going to get into the city for your shooting on the other day that you're here. Um, when I get a free moment, I want to text Charlie, hey, let's meet up. I'll get some food. Um, I've got something I'd like to go over. I want to sit and try and decipher the book I found with him and talk to him about the few things I've encountered recently. Okay. So if I can make a day of that, um, anybody who needs to get a hold of me, I'll just tell you guys where I'm headed. That's where I'm going to be today. Need to have fun taking the cab, taking the van, bye! <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Well, we're in RV park, and that might be where he's going, so maybe we Yeah, he'll, he'll be camped in the same RV park. Cool. I just can't, I can walk. So as for the rest of us, what shenanigans do you think Darla and Vic and Wolf could all get into? Well, I feel like Darla's uh, the last couple of days has very uh, much neglected her social media presence. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's going to shit to be you, honest wait, didn't you get some uh, pictures when you were bar hopping yeah but that only lasts so long um, snapchat man you, yeah and you need to like update all the time you gotta keep it up not to mention it, it was a, it was a Thursday Yeah, and Thursdays are the worst day for social media yeah everybody knows that <laughs> so I think what Darla really wants to do and you guys can come with if you want but what she's gonna do if you want if you, <laughs> <laughs> She's going to do is Google best Instagram location Chicago. That is a very long list, my dear. Uh, and then she's just going to choose the very top one. Well, the obligatory one is the Millennial Park, uh, the, the stainless steel bean, the kidney the bean. bean. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, that's where she's going. Of course there would be Instagram at the Millennial Park. <laughs> I thought it I had to say. <laughs> no, it's uh, good. No. What, um, was, what was Wolf doing? But, um, Top results of the United Center. <laughs> <laughs> I was wrong. <laughs> what you got for us, Wolf? Wolf's just kind of going to hang out by himself. Okay. He's going to go on a walk. All right. Okay. Well, but, uh, Before she goes, uh, Darla's going to look over at Vic and be like, hey, you want to go? You want to go mm-hmm. Graham? Oh, there's the there's the flamingo wall. There you go. <laughs> yeah, I hear there's a wall with flamingos that looks really good. Home slice. <laughs> and it's something called there. a home slice. Oh, it's pizza. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, Paradise Park. There you go. <laughs> let's, okay, let's discuss our hashtags. Okay, I think. All right. We should hashtag it friend date. How about, how about you? I'm fine with that. How okay. about like how 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 about like I don't know like. Like ghost hangs or something like ghost that. Ghost hangs is pretty good. Could it, hmm. sorry, guys. Are are you fake friending for followers? Is that yeah. what you're doing? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's how you compete. <laughs> if, if, if On the ground. If there was going to be two people in the group to do this exact thing. Yeah. I no. love this. Yeah, no, let's, this like, let's do it. This is uh, so scuzzy. I love this. But no, we have, no. I get her followers. She gets my followers. It's like the it's like the Ouroboros eating its own tail. I guess. Oh, I have or, no idea what that like means. Or like a pinata where you hit it and then followers just fall out into the other person's <laughs> mouth. That's good too. <laughs> <laughs> we all dive into the pinata mouth first. Yeah, it's like it's like a centipede, <laughs> but with pinata. Anyway, let's go. Uh, okay, so Darla and Vic have a friend date. Sweet. Uh, <laughs> the eloquence. All, all the things I want to do are just role based, so you don't. I don't need a whole lot of time. I just want to let uh, Wolf know as he's leaving. Hey, if you want, you can come back by the trailer when you're done with your walk. We'll be sitting here eating food and shooting the shit while I work on this. And I hold up a book. Uh, thanks, man. I just, uh, I just need to get some air. Sure, sure. Thanks. So, um, you go and see Charlie. What would you like to do? Um, I just want to, uh, just kind of debriefing, you know, w- what's happened recently, kind of go over... What does he know about changelings? Pro- probably not a whole lot. And then 
I, I found this book. Do you know, re- recognize any of this? If not, I'm just going to start decoding. He uh, takes the book into his hands and uh, he, he looks at it. <whistles> That's fancy. Yep, I, uh, I can't say I know anything about this. But uh, it's fancy. Well, good. <laughs> I right. like the cover. The cover's cool. This gold leaf in, that's pretty neat. Okay. He well, kind of looks at it for a little bit too long, and then he just hands it back and shrugs. Okay. Well, I'm going to order some food and sit here. I'm going to pull out a bunch of paper and just start. Give me some hot wings. Get him some hot wings. And uh, <laughs> we're going to just sit here, eat, drink, and he's probably smoking. And uh, I'm going to start decoding. Is he ever not smoking? I don't know. He's got to run out eventually. He's not. He, he's, can yeah. werewolves just magic weed into existence? Uh, he might be able to. <laughs> <laughs> what raw power? <laughs> werewolves is a general rule, no. But Charlie might. <laughs> oh, God. Well, listen, boy, I get up. Mind. I got to show you something. He, he sort of stands up from his, uh, his like, fabric folding chair and uh, puts his hands in his back pockets and sort of, like, walks, uh, limps over to the back of the trailer. Mm-hmm. And he waves you, you know. Come on, come yeah, on. Let's have a look. I, I was up to something while you all were in, in uh, St. Louis? Yeah. Yeah, St. Louis. Yeah, I knew that. And uh, he turns the... there's In the back of the trailer, there is a, a door with a little turning metal handle. He turns it and opens it up. And inside, you see... Uh, the totem from the woods in Kansas City. Yep. I decided I want to bring it with me. Uh, ref- sorry, refresh me. What, 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 there were a few totems while we were there. The, the large one that was in the ground in the woods that he used to talk to his child. Ah. Oh, shit. Mm-hmm. This this screams bad idea. <laughs> I'm not there, but I, I just feel the need to share that. Uh, does this? Yep, I felt 20 years younger when I stole that. That must be the most uh, mischievous thing I've done in a while. <laughs> uh, oh my! My clan's gonna be so mad. We're dead. <laughs> well, if we can find them, if they can find us, does oh, this... not a chance. Does this bring your kid along with it? Oh no, they're they're still out there. But but in the meantime, uh it provides us with some luck and some insight. Okay. I don't know if you know, but these totems connect me to the spiritual world. Well, heck with yeah. the help of it, we may be able to learn some stuff and help you uh make all those doohickeys you wanna do. Okay. Well, um perfect. Uh well, um I'm just gonna sit here for a minute if you don't mind. Um I pull out a cassette or a disc player that I recently purchased and some 1950s Japanese. Well, that's a vinyl, so you can't play it in your recorder, but you can play the best <laughs> of the, uh, best of the, Eagles. the best of the Eagles. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't fit. Can we play the Eagles while I work on my decoding for the rest of the day? I, I love Mason. <laughs> yeah, Mason, you are officially yeah. the whitest person. That's fine. <laughs> but yeah, so Welcome from... to the decode California. <laughs> <laughs> so mechanically from now on, whenever you do a crafts roll or something involving totems, mm-hmm. if you do it at Charlie's trailer, you can get an extra dice okay. from the totem. Nice. Okay. So this is just like... Uh, however you want to do it, checks for progress throughout the day, because that's all I want to do. Yeah, it'll be uh, intelligence academics, I think. It's actually not thanks to the totem, it's okay. thanks to the new brand of cushy well, smoke. four points in crafts are going unused today. <laughs> Plus one to one intelligence. <laughs> Three, four, five. Inside. Inside. Oh, that's good. Later. Okay. Um, one success. So... And then you want more than one for... Yeah, go ahead and give me three. I'll just take the total success of all of your day's rolls to determine your overall success. Four. <coughs> two. One, four, two. One, four, two. So it first doesn't make a whole lot of sense to you. Uh, after that, you uh, get on your phone, you look up some common coding methods, and you uh, halfway through the day, you figure out that you're pretty sure it's some kind of a... Uh, substitution cipher that has a second part to it. You just don't know what the second part is. Okay. Hmm. Good first day of work. All right. 
And for the third roll, uh, although you do not have substitution, you do manage to go through and isolate out some uh, diagrams and images which are in the text, and you can transfer those to your journal for later reference. Awesome. That way you don't necessarily have to take this you know, valuable and rare book out with you. Perfect. Cool. So, um, Wolf, are you genuinely just sort of spending time on your own, or are you going to do something privately? Uh, Wolf's doing something privately. That might be really stupid, but... So, Wolf wants to see if he can find another portal like the one they found in St. Louis. Interesting. So, like the Changeling portal. Uh, No, that was Kansas City. Do you know about... The... Uh, he, he shouldn't know about the changeling portal. Yeah, I mean, maybe... but but you're talking about the no no <laughs> yeah. the yes, demon. Oh. Sorry, yes the the butt chakra. Okay, the thank you for refreshing portal, my yeah. memory. <laughs> yeah, no. Um, Wolf's been kind of a mess about. No, that's that, fascinating. So... Okay, so where would you like to look? Well, well, first he's going to just kind of get on a cell phone and look up weird paranormal bullshit in okay. Chicago. Uh, would that be an investigation yeah, role? Yeah, or give me a... Computers role? Whichever's better, investigation or computers. Okay. I'm going to burn a willpower on this because he's really, really sure. determined to find out. So, intelligence yes. investigation? Alrighty. Uh, that is... Holy shit. I got four Ooh. successes on that. All right. Well, you see, you know, your sort of standard, like, ooh, it's a haunted whatever, and, you know, hotels and whatnot. You go past all of that because you are looking for some real stuff here. And what you end up finding is you find someone's personal blog. It's mostly a photography blog. It's this girl, and she uh, generally just goes to old places around Chicago. But starting uh, a couple months ago, she has a series of posts talking about Uh, a bar called the Cat's Cradle, where she visited and uh, had some kind of experience. And from there, her writing style changes. Uh, There's a very noticeable shift in the content of the blog. She starts to be very fascinated with the paranormal and starts to seek out um, all kinds of different places. Her photography changes. She formerly did a lot of portraiture and a lot of sort of bright sunny beaches and now she tends to do grungy industrial work and and sort of darker styles okay uh wolf is gonna shoot her an email yeah not a text message or anything just something that maybe she can get back to him later and it's gonna be pretty you know he's a social enough guy he knows like hey i'm not gonna come off as weird at first I kind of want to talk to you about something you found in the cat's cradle. And then he's going to get an Uber to the cat's cradle. So you shoot off your email. You get in the Uber and have a super awkward conversation about airports with your Uber driver and end up... Yeah, yeah, I hate them too. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, And end up at a high-rise building in the middle of downtown Chicago. The um, front desk informs you that the Cat's Cradle is currently closed. It's a nighttime only establishment, but it opens uh, at sunset every day and is on the 49th floor. Oh, oh, um, you see, I'm actually with a production and we really were thinking about filming a couple talking head segments there. It'd be really good publicity. Uh, I pull out a card that I got from production. It's, you know, Dr. James Wolf on it. Listen, uh, if I could just look around real quick, my pro- our producers would really appreciate uh-huh. it. Okay, um, I'll be sure to pass that to my manager. Um, can I um, help you with anything else, sir? Uh, yeah, no, listen, and, and he's going to kind of get a little low, kind of do the crossed arms on the desk thing, like... Look, I was supposed to check it out last night. I kind of got caught. I got caught up on the freeway. Shit's bad. I might lose my job if I don't get some pictures of the place. So could I like go up there real quick? Um, I'm not sure I'm allowed to do that, sir. But um, our our website does have um some pictures and uh, uh <sighs> you know I um maybe I can ask my manager if you could. I'd. 
oh my god, you would save my life. Thank you okay, so much. Okay, I, 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 I'd hate for you to get in Thank trouble, you. I guess. Um, uh. So she walks back to the, the sort of, there's sort of a door in inlaid into the, the wall behind the front desk, very sort of sleek and, and almost like a hidden door. She goes behind. And she walks back out with a large um, sort of bearded man in a, in a button-up with black slacks and a security badge on his belt. And he puts his hands on in his belt loops and sort of regards you. And he's like, all right, fine, I'll give you ten minutes. But that's just because I got nothing better to do. <laughs> oh, man, thank you so much. Thank and you And don't mention so this to the owners. They really don't like people doing this. But Oh, no, no, no. This is between uh, you, me, and the floorboards. Okay, man? I promise. All right. So he uh, leads you to a bay of elevators and swipes his card and opens the uh, the elevator doors and you both step in uh, to a rather long ride up to the 49th floor. There's some elevator jazz music playing. So uh, I'm uh, I'm James. James Wolf. Nice to nice to meet you, by the way. Uh, Teddy. Uh, Teddy. Yeah, you know we don't really need names. It's 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 cool. I'm just bored. You, you oh, don't have all right, to. Man. I mean, it, it's cool if you if you. I mean, sorry, I made it awkward, didn't I? Anyway, so the door's open, and he <laughs> <laughs> and he he walks out. Uh, his boots kind of kind of make a squeaking noise on on the marble floor, and uh, you see a, a very large, very red modern uh, club environment. Outside of the elevator is a sort of circular landing with stairs going down in an arc in two different directions. And it's you can see when you get to the edge of this sort of dais that it's actually uh, three floors that have been bought out and turned into one large sort of uh, penthouse sort of suite. Uh, the glass windows are a sort of wraparound style all the way around that give you a really fantastic view of the city from above. And below this platform is a large dance floor with a stage and um, sort of a metal grid with a light panel and, and AV equipment. It's a, a venue for performances as well as um, a, a club, you know, a lounge to, to sit in. If you stay on the level you are on, the top level, there is a catwalk that wraps around the stage area and has a bunch of booths and seating where you can uh, sort of sit and drink and it's roped off like a VIP area. Down the stairs is a middle section, another um, circular section of catwalk that has two bars on either side. And then below that is the main dance floor and uh, the sort of bathrooms and that, that kind of thing. With a big okay. LED floor in the middle. All right. I'm going to, uh, I get my phone out immediately because I want to keep this, I, I got to keep this con going. I start taking a lot of flash, flash pictures, you know, make it look like, yeah, no, I'm really here for a job <laughs> thing. And then I want to check her blog again and see if there was like a particular section that she photographed before she, she kind of went dark. Yeah, um, so on her section, you see it in the, the first post where she talks about going to the bar, uh, you see a picture of a very large, like a, an exaggerated fake large wood barrel like you would keep wine in. And it's seriously like 15 feet tall by 10 feet wide, and there's taps lined around the bottom. It's like a sort of decorative behind a bar section. Hmm. You don't see it from where you're standing. Okay. Uh, hey, uh, Teddy, right? Uh, I'm gonna, is, you want to you wanna walk with me, or are you gonna trust me a little, eh? Oh, I, I, I'll stay with you. Say, if you, oh, cool. you're, you're from Hollywood, right? You're doing this for some kind of show? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Ghost Punchers, or, uh... Oh, okay. Ghost Adventures. So you don't know Angelina Jolie or anything? <laughs> I'm just asking. Uh, I, I gotta ask. No, my, no, I wish. My, I wish. My wife's a huge fan. I just gotta ask. We know a guy who does. No, she's great. I assume you know. Uh, yeah, yeah, she's great. She makes good movies. Yeah, <laughs> movies. <laughs> I'm. I really like Teddy. <laughs> <laughs> I like Teddy too. I understand Teddy. He's he's so stern but awkward. <laughs> it's great. 
<laughs> so yeah, he walks you down, and as you go down the stairs, you get that sort of perspective shift. You go down to the bottom floor, and now you see these catwalks and all these lighting grids and, and smoke machines hanging above you in what now seems to be a really cavernous space. As you turn around underneath the arcing staircases, you see the third and the third and largest bar, which includes this wooden sort of cask. Ah, oh, finally. Uh, I mean, uh, yeah, no, this this is perfect. This is exactly what we're looking for. And I'm going to approach it. I'm going to be taking a lot of pictures. Do I feel anything like I felt back in St. Louis? No. Hmm. It feels v- vacant. It feels like an unoccupied club in the middle of the day. You know, the at night, clubs have a certain atmosphere, right? They're full of smoke and lights and people and music. And they seem oddly empty when none of that is there. And so in that way, it's a little unsettling, but it doesn't feel paranormal. All right. I'm going to try to replicate the photo she took. Maybe that could be a key. Okay. So yeah, you you line them up and uh, Teddy starts to get a little bit nervous. He starts shifting from foot to foot and sort of pulling out his phone and checking it. And uh, after a few minutes, after you get two of her four photos, he's like, you know, we really ought to be going. Uh, the, the owners kind of show up early and this would be really um, bad for for me, you know? Oh, oh that'd be perfect. No, uh, like... Not for you, sorry. I don't want to screw you over. I just, you know, talking to them would really help production. Like, I could get their numbers and stuff. Oh, oh no, we definitely can't do that. Well, why not? Oh, I, I'm not... You'd get in trouble, and i get in... You know, we should just go, actually. You know, I, this is this was a really bad idea. People, like, oh. go missing and stuff up here, and that would be super awkward if I just let you in. Uh, out of character. Ding. Uh, back in character. Oh, uh, people go missing? Yeah, it's it's really bad stuff. Um, well, I mean, not missing. I mean, they always come back. But people keep telling all these weird stories. And yeah, the owners don't like people coming up here, you know. Like what? Outside of business hours. Yeah, but but but, but, but like what? Like, uh, where do, do you know where they go missing? I mean, most of them have a history of mental illness. So it's probably not, you know, like a real, I mean, they're probably just drink, Teddy, drinking. Teddy, do you know where they go missing? No. Look, I, look, I'm just the security guard, man. I mean, I mean, I was I was only on duty for one of the incidents, and honestly, I, I was watching the game on my phone. Do you? It was a good game. <laughs> uh, I I believe it. I believe it. But uh, what happened? You said you were there for one of them. What happened? I mean, people got like I, honestly, nothing happened. Like this dude just. I mean, he kind of got up on the the catwalk and he was like saying saying weird stuff. I, he was probably just drunk, man. <laughs> Look, this is Chicago, all right. People do crazy stuff all the time. I'm a security guard. I've seen it all. You just kind of shrug and let it go. He was yeah. fine. I mean, he still okay. lives in town. I think I don't know. He was on the news recently. L- was he? Yeah, he's working for some kind of charity or soup kitchen. He's doing good stuff. Nice guy. Apart yeah. from being crazy, you know. Hey, you got a name? We might interview him as well. Uh, yeah, you probably shouldn't mess with him, but but Jared, Jared was um Jared was his name. Jared Smith, Jared Johnson, Jared something boring. How do I think of Subway? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Wolf. Uh, doodles down. Jared Smith, Jared Johnson, Jared something. <laughs> All right, cool. Well. Thank you so much, Teddy Bear. You saved my life. Whoa, I, I know it's bear. <laughs> uh, too forward. Sorry, man. Sorry, I'm just really happy right now because uh, listen, I was gonna be in no. deep shit otherwise. Sure. Yeah. Glad, glad to help. I mean, I, I wouldn't do anything. I, should I be? Should I grow a beard? I've been told that I have a weak chin. <laughs> <laughs> no, you look, you look good. You look fine. You look fine. Really? Is it? Is I mean, it's. I mean, I know I got kind of a double going on, but you think a beard would help? I mean, look, I have a beard, so I hide my double and my lack of a chin. But I feel you. All right, like you look good. Oh, okay. Thanks. That's that's cool. I mean, no problem. I mean, no I, problem. I just met you, and I'm I'm pretty sure you're full of shit. But that's nice <laughs> of you to say. <laughs> hey, you, hey, hey! I am never full of shit. 
Oh, you're right. I, I, I have to roll determine his, his destiny. I have to roll his daddy. All right, I have the I have the solid oh gold d10. It's the DD, the daddy destiny. Oh. Nine. Nine. Oh boy. Shit. That's what is he? Nine. nine. He's a nine. That motherfucker oh, no. is paternal. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be a really oh, no. awkward <laughs> elevator ride down. I'm gonna say he's the the tired new father. Oh. Like he's got like a newborn at home, oh. and so he has that sort of soft quality of a man realizing that he has a tiny life in his hands. He's that kind of daddy. Oh, dad. oh. A soft dad. Soft daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Wolf, Wolf's just kind of having one of those moments where now that he's done doing his super duper research and everything, he's like, God damn it, he's hot. <laughs> <laughs> so you walk back on the uh, elevator and ride down. And he's sort of on his phone. He's checking the, the today's game scores and, you know, humming and hawing in the appropriate intervals. And I'm Googling Jared Smith, Jared Johnson, Jared... Jingleheimer Schmidt. <laughs> you can roll me an investigation. Uh, it's it's a high DC though. It's a very generic. Works in a soup kitchen. It's a generic name, so yeah, you'll have yeah. to do some Google foo for sure. Alrighty. He's in the news do, for do. something. Is yeah. It a children's event. Charity. Charity. Children's charity, Chicago. I don't know. Barf. I don't know. Dos. Two. Mm-hmm. You find Jared from Subway. Apparently, he lives in Chicago now. Well, now He's <laughs> supposed to be in jail. Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, he could live there. Apparently, he's just he, in jail there. Yeah, apparently he's in the he's in the Chicago State Penitentiary a few blocks from here, and that's all you can find. Oh no! Oh no! All right. There is actually well, a prison in downtown Chicago. I don't know if you knew that. No, I didn't know that. I read an article about how a bunch of strippers work on a parking garage up, uh, across the street from the penitentiary, and the, the inmates will send them tips over the internet. Oh, oh my God. And apparently this is not illegal in Chicago, and so the, the government can't shut them down. I... Love what are they the going to do? Send them to jail? <laughs> they oh. have they have permission from the owner of the parking structure, and that and since it's private property, the city can't really stop them. This is the best God. thing I've ever. So as, the, I know so where we're going. I love enterprising strippers. <laughs> the amount of under the table money involved in this sequence must be I astronomical. Mean, I have just. God bless the free market. <laughs> You're right. Apparently, so long as they keep their underwear on, it's not against the law for them to do it. Oh my God. <laughs> What legally defines well. underwear? This is... <laughs> Sorry, that was a This is Vic Cooper. Language. What's your name, please? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Bless like, you. Bless oh you, sir. Oh my God, you're radical, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks. <laughs> Video ends. <laughs> so anyway, you arrive at the bottom of the uh, elevator and step out. I thank the girl up front, and I thank Teddy, uh, and... I'm going to call a car, head back to the bus, because I don't want people suspicious of what I'm up to, and I'm going to keep looking for this stuff. Sure. Especially this Jared fellow who apparently had a run-in. All right, so uh, you do that, and with that, we will go over to JD. Yes. Yes. <clears throat> Headed to, what was it? A slam burger. A slam burger. <laughs> was. <laughs> is this slam a burger, burger place where they have slam poetry? <laughs> no, the, it's just absolutely not. Smash it. No, Chicago. it's it's a so it's claim to fame. When you walk in, you you its claim to fame is that it is the rudest burger joint ever. It's called. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> yes, Stephen, you know what's inspiring this. So uh, it's a the waiters insult you. They hand you dirty dirty uh, silverware. They slam the trays in front of you and accidentally sort of get your your orders wrong or mix up your drinks with someone else. It is a bar or a, a burger joint and bar where you go to have bad service. Is it is it is it like heaven? Okay, <laughs> for the people working there. Can can you be rude back? Yes. I'm sure, yeah. Sweet. It's, it's There's a certain social contract that, that no one will hit below the belt, but everyone's allowed to be rude. Cool. <laughs> so you arrive, and you see the person you are meeting. Kenny. Kenny. And uh, she is sitting at a table in her wheelchair, <laughs> sort of looking around, waiting for you. I'll be like, hey! And I'll oh, hey, what's up? Kind of hurry over. 
and give her a hug. Desi, good to see you. And she gives you a sort of one-armed, you know, yeah. sitting hug. Go on, sit down, sit down. Yeah. This place has a killer bacon cheeseburger. I'm sh- I am mean, I'd hope so, with the service. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, you, you have to make sure you order it with extra bacon, because otherwise they'll leave the bacon off. But, you know, if you order it right, the, they'll, they'll get you the best damn bacon cheeseburger you ever had. I'm getting, what was it? Oh, yeah, the black bean burger. They put this, like, pico and, and avocado. Man, it's the shit. Do they do, like, a chili cheese fry or anything here? Oh, yeah, they got they got chili cheese fries. They got, um, they got, I had, last time, they had um, little green chilies on them. Like, little diced oh, up yeah, 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 green yeah. chilies. Man, those were good. Can I play the waiter? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> the, waiter get, the waiter comes back, and he's like, oh, God, there's another one. All right, what do you yeah, want? Yeah, I know, we multiplied. This is Desi. Yeah, I'm not going to remember that. What do you want? <laughs> um, I need a uh, bacon cheeseburger, extra right. bacon. Oh, so someone's told you what's up. All did, right. you, did you write it down? Yeah, I wrote it down. Did you spell it right? <laughs> <laughs> he, just get, he just shoots you <laughs> just this real nasty look. It's like you're taking the fun out of this, man. And then some uh, chili cheese fries. Um, All right. Do you want extra bacon on that, too? Yeah, extra extra bacon. I All guess right. extra everything, if that's how it goes. Porking up, I see. All right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, you're ahead of the game, but... All right. Uh, <laughs> what are you doing? I'm loving it. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> that, Not McDonald's. That didn't look like you loved it. That looked like, like you wanted to kill someone. <laughs> I was like, I didn't know that bad service made you that mad. <laughs> I'm, I'm delighting in this, every moment of this. See, listeners, John is a chef, so I think this is very cathartic okay. to get to be rude to customers. <laughs> it's just, all right. So, uh, so he goes, uh, he goes back toward, uh, back towards the kitchen. You notice that he did not ask you uh, to drink your uh, wine. Excuse me, sir. Yeah. Sir, excuse what? Excuse me, sir. What? Yeah, there's another half of the table. There's, there's. You were just complaining about there being, you know, more of us. We, we, we multiplied. If you didn't oh, I forgot that. that you didn't order. What do you want? Uh, yeah, I, I want the southwestern uh, uh, black bean burger with extra avocado. Extra avocado. Uh huh. Provolone cheese. All right. Pico de gallo. Okay. Hot sauce. Man, you are choosy. Salsa verde. So that you, you know this this comes standard, right? Yeah, I know, but I'm telling you because I want you to put all of it on there, and if you do it, I might just pat your head and call you a good boy. And then on the side, <laughs> I want two eggs like, over you easy. You know what I like, I guess. <laughs> I want two eggs over easy, three sla- stacks of toast. Put it on a rack and rick them and come back. All right. You come to this place a lot, don't you? Damn straight, I do. It's because of the cute waiters. Now get out of here. Oh my god, it knows kindness. <laughs> All right, he comes back. It once again noticeably did not uh, did not ask you guys for a drink order. It also could run you over if you let it. <laughs> she shouts. <laughs> that man would be a lot less insolent with some tire tracks on his ass, let me Indeed. tell you. <laughs> Anyway, how have you been? I've been good. I uh, just a rough. It's a rough schedule. The, yeah. The road thing. Oh uh, yeah, I did the road thing once. I don't even. I haven't experienced that before. Yeah, I did that for Amazing Race. Never again. Once I back got back in town, I sat my ass down in the valley and I didn't leave for like six months. I mean, they're they're making us. They, they don't even. They didn't even supply us with somebody to to drive the bus. I'm you're, driving the bus. You're kidding me. <laughs> I'm driving they the bus. They don't even have a team Of all people. No, they didn't even have anybody. <laughs> oh, why did you sign? Tell me you didn't sign a contract. Of course I signed a contract. Oh, you damn idiot. <laughs> I, I had no... I, I wouldn't accept not signing a contract. How so, does a guy go from Brad Pitt to driving a tour bus? Well, I mean... And this part of the job. I'm on screen. Excuse oh, yourself. Hang on, are you talent? <laughs> yes, I am talent. You stupid slut. Good for you. I am, yeah, <laughs> thank you. About goddamn time someone showed some appreciation. I, 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 I appreciate you. I always appreciate you. I know, I, I know, I know. I'm just, in, in general, you know, I'm working You know, with, we're, we're tight. Ever since you threw me out that window, we've been like this. <laughs> yeah, I know, but... It's, it's, you know, a first time for everything, and, you know, I'm glad I was there to help you with yours. Yeah, it and was, it was, uh, it was a scary experience, and I'm really glad it was you on the other side you know, of that window. You no, know, thank you. <laughs> but, you know, some of these people, big personalities, a bunch of them stuck in a bus. 
Oh, oh, wow! You're all living. Oh, wow. yeah, we're we're all in we're all in the bus. Close all in the quarters. One bus, close quarters. <laughs> Some people take more rooms than others. <laughs> Vic. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who that is, but you know whatever. <laughs> Have you ever heard of a uh, Rex Raptor? No. <laughs> Radical Rex. Oh, well, Rex Raptor. Oh, yeah, whatever. From Yu-Gi-Oh. That's it. <laughs> Radical Rex. That's it. <laughs> that's true. He is. He's my By God. I haven't thought about it's that character in years and years. <laughs> Radical Rex. <laughs> Radical, what is that? Like, is that like loser Chuck E. Cheese? <laughs> Something like that. Um, <laughs> oh, I'm really loving this. I don't want this scene to end. This is but yeah, how's uh, how's everything going here? Uh, you know, it's it's uh, it's work. You know, works work. The theater's yeah. good. Um, I, I I don't know if I told you, I'm a pyrotechnic specialist these days. Awesome. Perfect. Yeah, it's it's it was you know it was just such a, a like a serendipitous like God moment. You know, I was just doing my thing, and then. Uh, you know, this guy knew this other guy, and he was talking about how I was in Hollywood, and, you know, and then, and then, and then, yeah. and here I am, you know, I'm doing pyrotechnics for this show, and, and, and it's really good, it's been really great, and, and, I mean, okay, getting around a theater in a wheelchair is kind of a bitch, but yeah. they have ramps, and, like, and, you know, there's, um, there's actually a, a sort of track they laid for me that goes under the stage, so I can get all my stuff set awesome. in, it's, they've been really good, you know, they've been I mean, great. You always had a knack for that stuff anyways. You yeah, always, you always tended to to kind of move towards the explosions rather than away. Well, you know it beats wire work, right? Yeah, <laughs> doesn't hurt your back the next day, and you yeah. get to blow stuff up. Yeah. That's fun. But so, uh, yeah. everything going up over okay at the institute? Is we uh, how's that? Well, well, you know it's it's going. You know I gotta ask. <sighs> but you don't believe me, so I don't. I don't know why we should even talk about this. Try me. Really? Try me. Okay, so we built this new gizmo that monitors dark matter. At least that's what we think it does. Okay. We're, 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 we're trying. I, it doesn't really work yet. But the other day, we kicked it on, and there was actually something on the screen. We, we picked something up. Yeah, it was, it was just... Really? Yeah, it was like this uh, little purple, the, the display's purple, I don't know why, but it was just this little, like, purple orb, and uh, and it was just, like, sort of hovering around me. And, and just and just you? Yeah. You tried on... Yeah, we put him in front of the, in front of it, we're calling it the Black Mad Armor, Mad, Matter Armorer, it's not really a great name, we, it's kind of hard to say. In, 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 in the works. Yeah, it's, it's, it's in progress. So, uh, so yeah, we're, we're working on that, but it was just me. So, well, so we think it has to do with the curse, but we're not yeah. sure. Well, I know, I know you say, I here's need... your toast. I forgot you were here. Sorry it took so long. Oh, yeah, that's mine. You want some of this? Just... Yeah. Um, and can you get us some drinks? Do you do that here? Do you have drinks? Yeah. Most people tend to ask for them, though. Yeah. Can you, can we get some, can we get some drinks? Yeah, just sure. Just anything? Just, just anything? Just anything? Do... Do... No, I get to get just, creative. Not just anything. So, so do you do not want him to be creative. I'm not going I'm not, I'm not to let him be creative. I don't know. I don't. I mean, I don't think he can get that creative. But you know, you want to try chance me? on the off chance that I'll be. I'll be a little bit more specific for him. Mackenzie smacks the waiter's ass and goes, "Hey, now, attitude. Careful, nothing below the belt." All right. So maybe that was sorry. She she leans in and like, "Sorry, that was that was a little uncalled for." I got, sorry, I got I got a little into the role. I have a sensitive rumpus. <laughs> Will you, would, it, would it be better if I hit your hand? Of course he does. Okay. Like that. Just like that. Is that all right? Thanks, Mommy. Is that all right? Okay, good. We'll do that. All, all right. right. So then, uh, okay. Just bring some water. <laughs> water. Big, all right. Sexual deviancy is happening in this water. restaurant. Big fuck off pitcher of water. All right. And I won't hit your rumpus anymore. Seriously. <laughs> I can't believe he said rumpus. <laughs> I know. Isn't he just a cutie patootie? <laughs> You, you said patootie. What is going on? <laughs> Look, dude, I haven't been laid in like two years. Okay, okay. you know how hard it is to date in a wheelchair? <laughs> I, can't, I couldn't even imagine. Oh, man. So, yeah, so we're not sure if what it's doing, but it seems like we're moving in on studying the curse. And mm -hmm. I know how you feel about that, but. Well, 
let me say that I've you know what this whole thing's about. You know the whole tour's about the whole Yeah, paranormal. bullshit paranormal stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> well, it's got me thinking about some of that stuff, you know, just through some of it. I've seen some stuff that was at least a little a little off. Um My God, JD. <laughs> Are you having a ghost crisis? That's like the worst way you could possibly put it. I don't know. Did they, did they touch you? Did they make you feel things? Ah, Jesus. Just kidding. 15 years you've given me shit about my family curse. And you're telling me you believe it now, you son of a bitch? Yeah, believe. That's a yes. That's a fucking yes. Sure, yes, yes. I okay, okay, I, I feel there there might be something there. I don't know if it's a curse, okay? I don't know if it's a curse. Okay, you can leave your bunny <laughs> ears at the there. sidewalk, please. Okay. Well, just to let you know, I thought so there's a person, there might even be a couple people on the bus, and they're the people who've kind of convinced me otherwise, partially. And I thought they might be able to help. I thought they might be able to help. Do you want their help? Uh, you keep giving me shit. You want their help? Maybe, maybe I don't. Uh, yes, yeah. Fuck it. Let yeah. Me bring them in. Yeah, bring them in. Okay. Yeah, do it. Okay. I will. I'm, I'm not embarrassed. <laughs> You're not. No. You look embarrassed. I'm no. I, I I just all I'm saying is I got this. All right. I okay. I'm handling. The curse situation and help would be nice, but I just, just to be clear, I don't need help. Okay? I know you don't need help. You've been very insistent that you don't need help, but I thought I'd offer it anyways. Well, then your unnecessary help is accepted. Okay. Okay. And then the Where's waiter... Where's that fucking waiter? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, sorry to interrupt you two making out. Here's your here's your drinks. It's I'll called right eye fucking. Okay. Listen, I don't need to know what you guys do. Bad it's eyesight. like, like I'm just I'm just a I'm just a waiter. Dead giveaway. Like I'm gonna <laughs> exactly just a waiter. I'm just a waiter only. Man, you, and you say do? and you say I'm kinky. Man, <laughs> you just. You just objectified our waiter. I have a bond with him, you know. She reaches and touches the waiter on his shoulder. We have a bond, don't we? Deep as the blue sea. We have a bond, and you just made him sound like nobody. I don't think I can forgive you for this, Desi. This waiter is somebody, sir. (laughs) I I think I'm getting the point of this place all wrong. Is there a second course to this whole bit? I don't know. I'm just having a lot of fun at this point. You guys have been the best table that I've had all afternoon. Oh, that's good. because There's I've... a lot to unpack in this whole thing. I'm really glad you're enjoying it because I'm not tipping. Oh, God. He brings up, when he brings over the burgers and everything, they, not, only is there, not only is there all of the stuff that you asked for, but it's like piled on to like an unnecessary amount. So it's actually extra. Yes, it is actually extra. Like oh, extra sweet extra. freebies. Yeah, it's kind of a to- coin toss whether they don't give you anything or whether they give you exactly what you asked for. <laughs> Either way, I think I win. I mean, <laughs> even in the wheelchair, I blow through like 2,500 calories a day, so uh, lay it on me. And they, uh, she goes to town. Yeah, we'll both just eat. And, and uh, she, as the waiter goes away, she looks up and she goes, good boy. <laughs> <laughs> he just said, he just like gives it, like stares at her for like an almost awkward amount of time and then gives her just like the quickest wink before going back to the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> and scene. Oh, well, as, as uh, I should say, like, I was like, okay, like at the end of it, I'll be like, hey, I'll just meet you back at the institute. I'm gonna go see if I can round them up, and I'll meet you there. Cool. I, I am loving every NPC you've thrown into this. <laughs> <laughs> Buckle, you're very good at it. Thank you, you should feel good about that. I, I feel good about it. I, 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 I love it. Thank you. <laughs> What's how's, by the way? By, by the way, I wrote this down. A ghost crisis should be called a polter crisis. <laughs> I think it still needs some work. Not a polter panic. A polter oh, panic. Polter panic. Also, both uh, both uh, Mason and Darla get texts. Okay. When you get a minute to call JD. All right. Well, I'm not doing anything. Well, so. Darla is in front of the kidney bean, and um, 
she's doing that Instagram. She's having Vic take her photo. Isn't um, this isn't this made by the same guy who made like the blackest black? I don't know. What's that? It's this paint that doesn't reflect light and it anyway, looks really can, creepy. Can you just can you just get me a three quarters? And she does that Instagram um, model thing where it's mostly ass. <laughs> and she's sort of like she's like turned and with, with sort of like her ass sticking out and it's like over the shoulder kidney bean oh, oh my god <laughs> you, are, dumbest you are too yeah. you are too good uh, at that ta- he takes it and attaches the hashtag uh, more like kinky bean am I right am I right and then she's like okay okay now I do you <laughs> be gentle all right, so what you got to do is, and she she lines him up so he's doing the same pose. Perform this role, bitches. <laughs> oh, really? Do I get to go for that? I, I go want, for it. I want it to happen. This would be funny. I, I want it to my, happen. Do I since, do since, we are, since we are using uh, social media, can I use my socialite training? Can I yeah, use, sure. Can I for a use your best, Perfect. Your best yeah. applicable roles, by all means. Okay. Uh, what, what, should, what should we roll? Uh, expression would be the, the basic, but if you have something better, then you can ask. Yeah, how's your larceny? Other than larceny. <laughs> <laughs> I really only have one. Um, okay. Okay, so expression and what? Presence, maybe? Presence, yeah. Expression and presence. Oh, Dang. Really? Okay, with socialite training, this is eight dice. Oh, this man. picture might yeah. actually be more scintillating than Darlene. <laughs> Mine is uh, not that great. <laughs> Three successes. <laughs> I didn't do any of them. Well, so Vic assumes the pose that Darla did, the difference being that he is both funny and hot doing it oh versus God. just hot. Oh also, I picked out pants that She's hug my butt. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? What did you just call hot. that? A hot. I heard slut. And I was like, yeah, well, I guess that's not No, yeah, hot. You, I was you, like, you, I think I prefer thought, personally. <laughs> no, that's worse. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's worse than slut, isn't it? Is I don't it? Know. Uh, I don't think so. Once we are a, well. Once a hoe thought a is an acronym for that hoe over yeah, there, yeah. So I, which Vic like, definitely is. Yeah. I thought thought and slut was basically the same thing, but it kind of is. But slut, it's it's the difference between slut and hoe. Oh. This this has been slang talk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really glad we're not doing swear jar today because. <laughs> From some Wait, out of sad. touch millennials. This, yeah, exactly. this one's a gosh. We have jobs. We don't know what the kids are talking about anymore. Jesus. <laughs> yes, so oh, while Darla no. pulled off a very convincing, sexy pose, because Vic is a sort of lanky, like, actor, he pulls off attractive but also funny because he's in this sort of, you know, you, sexy pose. And you both share Instagram followers for it. Yeah, Whoever and then is. what she does is she takes the photos and then she does that Instagram where you can put two photos together and it's sort of like a mirror mm-hmm. and then it just tags it, friend date! <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then she sees the text. She's like, oh, 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 uh, uh sorry, Vic, I, I think I need to go make a phone call. Sorry, JD is texting me of all people. Oh, and then he, and he tries not to feel hurt that JD isn't texting him too. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, no problem. I'll just be over here with the clunk clunk bean. <laughs> <laughs> so Darla kind of steps over to a place where it's a tiny bit quieter. Not that it's going to be much quieter. And um, she sort of calls up JD. <laughs> Directly under the bean where there's actually more sound. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I thought it'd be quieter in here. <laughs> Hello? JD, it's Darla. Uh, hey, Darla. Um, yeah, I know. Weird. Uh, yeah, to d- d- text and stuff. You can text me anytime, sweetheart. Yeah. Uh, listen. You know that whole uh, thing where you wave your hands in the air and you do all the, you know, hibbity jibbity stuff. Oh, are you talking about me being a bona fide witch? Yes, that I guess. Um, if that's <laughs> how you prefer it be stated. Yeah. yeah, if you could just use those terms exclusively, I would appreciate it. <laughs> well, I was hoping to have your services as a bona fide witch um, for my friend, and they uh, they kind of have this they have this whole thing around their family, and she was wondering if you could come do your thing. Can I put it on YouTube? Yes, sure, whatever. All right, I then guess. I'm Pro- there. Probably. You have to ask her. <laughs> She's more strict on those things than I am, but I'd, I'd probably. I'll tag her. Probably. probably. <laughs> she'll, probably be, she'll probably be good for it. Okay, cool. <laughs> Just text me the address. And I will text her the address. The Institute. <laughs> the Chicago 
uh, rehabilit the Chicago Institute of Rehabilitation, something like that. Okay. Likewise, uh, once I get to a Rehabil stopping point, I'm going to call Institute of Chicago. That's what yeah. it is. JD. So, Hello. Ah, uh, yes, you uh, sent a message. Yeah. So you know how you know all about all this weird stuff. Uh, yes. Yeah, and you said you can like sense things. More or less. <clears throat> yeah, I was hoping that you could help me and a friend out. Because they kind of have this whole thing around, like, they, they have a, they feel like some of that weird stuff happens around their family, okay? Oh. And so, I was going to see if you and Darla could meet me at back, like, back at the bus, and then I could go over there, or you guys can actually just meet me there. And, uh, yeah, she, she, she could, she, she, she'd like the help. We'd like to, you know, just investigate that a little bit. I, I told her. I would ask, so I'm asking. Oh, I'm I'm flattered that you'd involve me in your fa family affairs. I'll uh, I'll be over uh, as soon as I can. Uh, get the Mercedes working. Uh, just a moment, friend. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <Click>. <laughs> <laughs> Beep. Beep. That sounded a bit bitter. <laughs> what did that mean? Why did he call your family fat? What? It was he, 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 he just stuttered. That's all. I know. It was an intentional. It was, it was funny. Bad family. <laughs> so Darla walks back over to Vic and's like, "Hi." So JD has a thing that he wants me to look into for him. I mean, you can probably come along. I don't think he'll mind. You want to come do some ghost stuff, or? I don't know, actually. To be honest, he just was very mysterious. <laughs> uh, Vic, uh, Vic you, you, you find him looking his, at his reflection in the bean, much much like a, much like a bird. Does Scarlet. it look back at him? Yes, of course. Scarlet sort of stops. Why would it not? And slips her phone out of her pocket and takes a couple of, like... Uh, she takes a video of him admiring his express, or like his his face Visage. in the bean. He sees you doing that in the reflection and says, "Make sure to tag it with vanity." <laughs> <laughs> and then she makes it a gift. And then <laughs> just Jesus. You can't, it you can't see the motion, but I'm running my hands through my hair. He's gonna show up there like oh. two hours earlier at this rate. And uh, <laughs> she makes it. She puts it part of her Snapchat story. <laughs> <laughs> what are both of your vices and virtues, by the way? Um, you also, my advice is vanity. Okay, so please take a willpower back, Vic, for playing to your vanity. Hooray! Uh, my virtue is steadfast, my vice is greed. So I don't think it's really um, that. Take a willpower for greed because you've just spent a whole day with a person you don't particularly care for for followers. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, that seems like it. Do we get, um, do we get uh, any willpower back uh, that we mm. might have spent? Um, when we rest. Because I feel like haven't we have we rested? Sure. Or but I mean that was kind of hangover. Maybe not me. Thing. Yeah, for right now, just uh, take whatever you earn back from your vice and virtue. I'll let you know when you have a re actual restful sleep. <clears throat> Last sleep was a hungover sleep. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna say that wasn't very restorative. Or okay. I just went into the hedge sleep. Though of course, I also didn't award any willpower for mm -hmm. your drinking. So if anyone would have gotten willpower from indulging mm -hmm. in that kind of activity. Them. Then you could take that as well. Maybe riding the bull while drunk. Yeah, that seems like a very thing. <laughs> and I and yeah. I feel like wolf, wolf's gluttony probably ticked off of the the drinking as well. If you wanted to take a willpower for that, I had full willpower when we went, so I'm just gonna right. I'm good. Okay, so you all uh, at various intervals. Oh, well, wolf. Um, are you uh gonna stay in the bus or? Maybe, v M Mason, do you want to involve Wolf in some way? Let him know that you're about to leave? Um, it, uh, just, yeah, shoot him a text to be like, I don't know what you're doing, but uh, I'm going to be out. Uh, JD needed help with something. He said he needed help sensing something over at a friend of his's uh, place. God, I'm show up now. <laughs> <laughs> just, um, and Wolf's going to respond with... Uh huh. Have fun. I'm down in Boys Town, having a good time. Which 
Not true. He's just on his way back to the bus, but he's going to just kind of sneak on the bus and just do his research. Okay. Come on. Enjoy the theme park. Period. (laughs) (laughs) Wolf just... Wolf just kind of gets a bit of a concerned face, and it's like, does he think Boys Town's a theme park? <laughs> In some ways, it for, is. For, for you, it is. Damn right. Does, I, I desperately need more gay friends. <laughs> <laughs> I need more gay fixes. Yeah, Wolf is... He's just mumbling to the self in the back of the car. <laughs> Wolf is very much on, on straight island right now. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> Hetero island. So, um, yeah, so the four of, of you, except for Wolf, arrive at intervals at the rehabilitation facility. Uh, I, I just realized from our, uh, uh, from our interaction that Vic never actually officially said that he was going to be going. Do you think that matters? I think uh, I think it'd be good if you guys went and did that, and then I could go back to the bus, and that way me and Wolf could have a scene. Oh yeah, sure. You want? Okay. I was thinking the force if of, you're done. of Darla's personality is like you're coming, right? That's... <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. Sure. Whatever. He says, still looking. Right <laughs> <at you. laughs> <laughs> be a perfect way to play that off. Uh huh. Yeah. Force of Darla meet immovable force of Vic. <laughs> So, yeah, so then the three of you arrive. Um, this is your characters, your your NPCs' space. Maybe you'd like to talk a bit about the Institute? Well, the, the Rehabilitation Institute of the Chicago is indeed the number one rehabilitation institute in the United States. <clears throat> and so it's a, it's a rather nice facility. I mean... What? Yeah. Is this in character? Sorry. No, I mean, this is out of character. Is it? <laughs> is it, like... For, like, physical mm-hmm. rehabilitation? Yes. Okay, I wasn't sure what mm-hmm. kind of... Rehabilitating any any sort of, you know, okay. physical ailments. They'll do a lot of studies there, you know, about, like, is trying it, to help Is this a real place? Walk in. Yeah, it's a real place. Oh, that's cool. It's a real place. I, I researched it, and that's that's why it's we're here when it's here. Oh, you did such a good job. Yeah, I, I looked up what was the number one rehabilitation <laughs> institute in the United States, <laughs> and it is here. Okay, um, so I feel like... Uh, <clears throat> and JD would be kind of out front, waiting. So I guess uh, Darla sort of looks over at Vic and is like, Hey, so you can just keep this Uber and you can go back home if you want to. You can seem like you're super into this. Yeah, okay. What All are you right. guys doing again? <clears throat> Bye, Vic! Which stuff? <laughs> oh, okay. Probably, you know, I'm going to say probably Jesus stuff. Let's go. All right. Okay, have fun with your Jesus stuff. Yeah. Bye, Vic. Okay. <laughs> have fun at church. This is a weird looking church. Bye. Bye, Vic. <laughs> and the door closes. Hey, so I appreciate that you think that I'm super talented and want to come and use my my abilities. Well, we're waiting on Mason now, too, so uh, he's coming. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. That's great. Yep. Uh, uh, thank you. Thanks. He should thanks. be on his way. Oh, thanks. look, here he is. Yeah. Try to kick me out of the RV and drive off. <laughs> <Screeching tires. laughs> you have to tuck and roll. <laughs> I might have. I know, oh, he just got the sewage hooked up. He's not driving you anywhere. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Gross. All right. So I- I'm listening to the airport treatment now. Are the eagles still blaring when the people... <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean that's that's Mason's call, I guess. I, I would have I would have turned that off or left it in the RV. I don't want to lose such a valuable piece of equipment. <laughs> <laughs> he actually has like a nineteen nineties boot box. <laughs> it's like <laughs> mentioning you, you would have to you would have to, to destroy your Eagles VHS, but you can use that as an E V P device if you Ooh. if you ever need to. Okay. It's an old style Walkman kind of recorder mm-hmm. player. And any tape that you put on there, if you hit record, it will record over what's on there. So you could potentially use that as an EVP device. Okay. An analog EVP device. Okay. Mm. You're going to have to really make hard choices, no, though, because you might end up losing a, your, your copy of tape. Buy some blank <laughs> tapes. I mean, he already kind of experienced a Hotel California earlier. So. <laughs> okay. Hi, JD. Uh, stick my hand out to shake. Yeah, I'll just shake his hand. What's going on, buddy? Okay. What's up? Well, we're just, yeah, I just wanted you guys to check out my friend's whole deal. She'll explain it to you. I don't, I've, I've always kind of stayed away from that whole bit. Sure, but, sure. But, you know, with all the stuff <laughs> recently, I was looking at it a little different. So I thought you guys could come and see 
Do your do your thing. Do do your thing. She in the danger. The things that or? you do. <clears throat> she seem in danger or? No, no, not really. I mean, it's been okay. forever. Oh, okay. Since right. I've known well, her, this um, has been a thing. So lead on. If oh, I, you know, actually, it's a real good thing that you uh, you invited Mason because. Could you take a video for me for my <laughs> social media? <laughs> you know, you know how to hold the camera good. This uh, whole conversation while we're on the way yeah. up. Yeah. I, uh, maybe if they're okay with that. I, 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 look, I, just, I look to JD with pleading eyes. <laughs> well, we'll, ask, we'll ask her. We'll ask her. And then we'll go and we'll just like check in. And, it's a ding! I mean, basically, basically it's not... It's not I'd be someone who they're used to, so it wouldn't be a big deal for me to. Yeah, be you're showing up. you're authorized. Yeah. So the doors open. You all walk out, and uh, you have a short conversation with the receptionist, who you know, and she lets you, you know, back inside, yeah. and, and you go into um, the lab. So uh, it's a it's a modern and a well stocked physical therapy facility. Um, down one hallway, you can see a sort of um, exercise room with various machines and elastic bands and all of the usual um, sort of therapeutic equipment, a couple of small offices with chiropractors' tables and massage tables, and beyond that, uh, a sort of open space. Mm-hmm. And when you all walk in, it it looks like... Do you know in Captain America Winter Soldier when they go into the old Hydra base mm-hmm. and there's like computers everywhere? around the walls it's a room like that full of old analog computers with wires and switches and big bays with monitors all around whatever's in mason's hands has fallen to the floor is he hey that was my cell phone there's around (laughs) (laughs) his mouth slightly agape just jesus wonder your cell phone now has a crack in the upper right corner Oh, oh god this is a true tragedy for This Darla. is a wonderful place. Come on! Listen, I, hold, I let you hold it because you're good with cameras. What the hell is this? <laughs> he does drop electronics fairly often. Yeah. <laughs> I am the bane of many a camera. Uh, so Mackenzie is sitting in, uh, at one of the um, the work desks. Yeah. Appropriately heighted for her chair. And standing next to her is her um, uncle, who you know well. He's a physical therapist who works here at the facility. And hey, guys. Then, oh, hey, Desi. I haven't seen you in a while. Yeah, um, these are uh, these are my friends. Um, I talked to I talked to Kenny about it, and uh, they're going to help us, you know, look at the... Yeah, so Mackenzie <laughs> um, sort of wheels around uh, and, and takes all of you, and she goes, hey, guys, welcome. Welcome to, you know... Where the magic happens. Oh, uh, yeah, this she is pulled out Mason her hand. Mackenzie, was it? Uh, Mackenzie Collins, yep. Uh, uh, Mason Harper. Yeah. Hi, I'm Darla. Hello, Darla. I'm a witch. <laughs> oh, okay. <Yes. laughs> Darla so we're... is a professional witch. Mm-hmm. Uh, I get paid money for this and everything. Oh, that's great. I'm cursed. Oh, good. <laughs> that sounds exciting. Pleasure to meet you, sir. Yes, uh, this ma'am. Is Mackenzie. Oh uh, no, I thought I know the short hair, but it's, I thought it was Mackenzie ma'am. and the dude. Yeah, there's two. Oh. Yeah, so they're you're both ladies. No, so no. you're gonna meet the. So, oh, sorry. So you are talking to the uncle, not her. Yeah, I thought he was speaking. Okay. Just now. I I was My being mistake. Mackenzie at the time, so wires got some crossed. So yeah, he's like, is um, yeah, Carver, Carver Collins. Nice to meet you. Pleasure. <laughs> yeah. So this is um, this is our dark matter reader, our dark matterometer, if you will. Mm-hmm. He's. He sort of um, preens and shakes his shoulders a little, like very proud of the name. <laughs> this I also just found out about, by the way. This is their new... Uh, what? It's fascinating. What is it? It's, what it's is so it not... That's such a dumb name. Anyway, so what it does, and she wheels over to one of the, the large server bays. It's kind of... Uh, there's a section of modern equipment next to all of the analog equipment. Mm-hmm. And she, she sort of goes, so what we realized is that all these old machines, if you wire them backwards... They detect a lot more than they really ought to. We kind of went away from all of the old school analog things these days, but uh, they do uh, have a much more stable electronic signal. Signal. So what I realized is I was doing some research on the internet. She spins some dials. Is that they actually do a pretty good job of monitoring things we can't see. 
and that normal electronics mess with. Okay, okay. Uh, that was JD's idea, actually. You didn't know, but you were telling me about your, um, what was it? Your EVPs or your K2s? or Yeah, the K2? Yeah, the, they're all n- numbers and stuff. I can't really keep track of it. Anyway, so <laughs> he was telling me about the K2 and how it monitors electronic things, and I thought, hey, maybe that's why our stuff isn't working, because all the electronics are messing with the things that they're trying to, you know, record. So we went super old school, <laughs> as you can see. I mean, oh, yeah. this is like next generation bullshit. And, um, well, we've been getting places. And then she wheels back to the main console, and there's a very, like, um, it's a big handle lever, like, in a video game. It's, like, a bar with two, like, sides that she throws forward, and it moves, like, six or eight inches, like, on the table, like a big lever. And all of the servers kick on and hum and start glowing. And the overhead light flickers a bit, and she's like, yeah, this building's not really wired for this. (laughs) I keep waiting for the fire department to show up, but they never do. They just uh, let you build this in here? <laughs> oh, no one let us do anything. She goes to a second lever next to that lever and, and takes it up, and the whole room goes, Wong. Should uh, we be standing in here? I would like, oh, I'm sure it's probably fine. I would like to do an unseen sense as we go. Sure. Yeah, as soon as she boots that computer up, can I do I for the Strange? Four successes. Yep. Have you actually taken a picture yet? A picture? Yeah, with your, your phone, phone still works. No, I mean... It's just suffered a little bit no, of damage. No, I just... Dara's gonna wait for the right moment. She didn't, she didn't it's not doing anything. No, oh, it's nothing. Nothing? Yeah. So Darla doesn't detect anything. Um, for your four points, um, Unseen Sense, you don't recognize the feeling. Can I... Is it omnipresent or is there a, a region of the room I feel it from? You feel it coming off of Mackenzie but you do not recognize the the signal mm. exactly. Can I kind of go wander over to Darla while she's doing her hand thing and she would be like the girl and then keep wandering around the room looking as, as the lights flicker. Um. So Kind of rolling her eyes a little bit, Darla turns her hands <laughs> to the girl. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and I, can I do Eye for the Strange? I have to add investigation to that, right? Yeah, you can do you can do an Eye for the Strange investigation on okay. her. Yeah. I'll give you another roll if you're going to focus specifically, specifically on her. On her. Yeah. Garbage. Um, one. Yep, she's got weird stuff going on. Huh. So anyway, she finishes pulling up the second lever. Now all of the bays are lit up, and uh, in the in the um, dimmer light, since it's pulling power actively from the room's electricity, you uh, see a line of coils on one of them that starts to crackle a little bit. And inside of it, you start to see this sort of mist, this purple kind of mist appear. And uh, she looks at all of you, and she gives kind of a a wicked, daring smile. She goes, all right, this is the fun part. She goes to the third lever, and she goes, all right, everybody better clench up. And then she throws the third lever very quickly. And in front of those three vials, there is a a sort of holographic display appears. Very sort of techie. And on the display, you see figures that mirror your positions in the room. And she sort of wheels herself around the console and towards it, and her shape becomes more prominent as she gets closer to these three um, like orby vials. And she sort of waves you all over, but stops you so that there's a space, and she's still very visible in this sort of silhouetted monitor. And you all actually, it's JD and and all of you, it's very reminiscent of the thermal camera camera from your earlier episodes. And then she's like, all right, so just like trying to find a little embryo in an ultrasound, I need you all to have a little imagination. All right? Just kick those brain juices on. All right? See? Here we go. Right <laughs> there. And she points right to a spot above her shoulder. She's like, and she, her finger kind of moves and, 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 and trembles a little. And she follows a, a sort of wavy path. And at first, it doesn't look like anything's there. 
But all of you, please roll me perception. Roll me wits, um, composure. Three successes. Two. Two. All right, so everyone that got two or more, so everybody, you all do start to see something of a of an orb that's that's flitting around her. She goes, see that? That, that, there, there, yeah. there. Yeah. Yes. That's always around me. It just it just sits there all the time. Can Darla um reach out her hand and try and touch the area <coughs> above Mackenzie where it looks like the orb is? Sure. Um, but not on the screen, just like above. On her. her. Yeah. Yeah. So um Roll me a wit's intelligence roll. Because what you're trying to do is you're trying to look at the screen that's 2D and imagine where that is in 3D space and put your hand on it. Not good. Uh, (laughs) It's nothing. No. Ah, I can't roll today. (laughs) So you make an honest effort, but you can't seem to detect anything. And that's as far as we got. Like, we really... What we're trying to do is we're trying to make another section, right, in like a like an axis, and that way we can make it 3D, you know. Yeah. But yeah. we just got this working like this week, and honestly, I don't know where we're gonna put the rest of the equipment or who's gonna pay for it. <laughs> I mean, I'm I am all in you on this. You couldn't fold it. In even it. with this old crap that everyone keeps throwing out, it's still really hard to find these. I mean, they don't even make these anymore. These are from like the seventies. Uh, so you couldn't fold it into a curve. Could kind of give it a. It's just it's canisters with a gas in it. Yeah. No, no, not the no that that's I mean expensive, but we can get more of that. The problem is the old analog computing uh, machines. Sure. They don't make them that way, and I mean I don't understand how they work. I just. I just discovered that that if we plug them in and we like he programs them, he's really good at that stuff. And if we program it right, then it replaces modern computers without affecting the electromagnetic field of the room. That's that's our big breakthrough. That's the, what all this is founded on. And that's as far as we got. Okay. So what do you want our help with? I don't know. He just said you could help me. Yeah, you guys are the ones who say you I mean, ignore the machines, all right? Because that's that's just, that's what I do. I blow stuff up, all right? I understand, you know, you put that's in X that's and that's you put you get you get out Y. And so I'm trying to solve this the only way I know how. But really, the problem is my family's cursed. Mm. Everyone but me is either dead or in a facility somewhere because they're pretty sure they're going to die. And they can't handle that. They or just your, or your carver. What kind of? <laughs> what kind? Well, of I mean, the... carver's a special kind of crazy, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he, he sort of nods and he's like, "Yep, yeah, takes a special kind of nut what to do of, this." What uh, kind of ailments have been affecting you? Is it a uh, car what? crashes usually? Except for Aunt Rita, her pacemaker stopped, and mm. uh, Grandma Bev, it was a Ferris wheel, but it's always machines. All right, so gruesome. this might be. <laughs> yeah, we, we just, oh yeah, it was gross. Th- this might be sort of a grim place to be. She then. had an eye beam right through her spleen, all the way through, like mm-hmm. a skewer. Oh. And did it was the, nasty. Did, did the Ferris wheel keep going? Ferris wheel don't ever stop. Yeah. Holy um, shit! Um, <laughs> I've got she so has a, a gallows humor about it. It's obviously, been a, it's been a, it's been a, it's, it's a pretty crazy. <laughs> Sorry, I was a stunt woman for a few years. It it doesn't leave you. Yeah, we had some accidents on set, too, so... I've got a contact who might know a little bit more about this. If you give me a moment, I'm going to step away and have a a chat with him real quick. And I pull out my phone to call Charlie. Is that a real question, or...? Yeah. I I need to call somebody. So what if I just said no? No, you got to stand right here. Uh, Then that would be very awkward for you. My God, you really would. I would. (laughs) This guy's weird. <laughs> yeah, he would. Sorry, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. Get out of here. Yeah. Wow, he really would. Yeah, he really would. <laughs> so, did you get anything, Darla? I, I mean, to... not 
honestly, not yet. Uh, I think I may have gotten a bit distracted by the machines. <laughs> uh, let me let me try and do another reading of this room um, and see if I can I can pin it down. Um, so I'd like to uh, throw a willpower in. Because uh, she's trying not to embarrass herself in front of her friends. <laughs> <laughs> and she came out with all that real witch I'm stuff. A real, <laughs> real witch. witch. I'm a real witch. Um, I'm a real boy. So, okay. So, I've been estranged. And then, can I, is it with investigation? Yeah, you can add investigation. And then, uh, you can add a, add, add a profession die, too. Ooh. Diamond. You get you get three dice for the willpower. Yeah, I know. Okay. All right. Now, come on, Molly. Here's what's stuck. Fingers crossed. Oh. Eh. Looks a lot better. It is better, but not much. Um, well, that's at least three, isn't that's it? That's three, yeah. We'll go with three. Three's a pretty good roll most yeah. of the time. Okay, so with three, you do manage, by pure chance, to align your hand with this thing, this energy that's flitting around her. And when you do, you get a mental image. You get a mental image of a... It it looks like a security kiosk. You know, um, old school security kiosks, they have these just stacks and stacks of monitors with different sort of areas of a building displaying on them. But instead of a building, you see just different places that don't seem to have any connection to one another. You see cities, you see, you know, rural fields and dingy, you know, dark alleyways and shopping malls and all of these different places with people moving through them. And In this flash of a moment, what you notice is you notice a figure in a black uh, sort of professional suit carrying a briefcase with a trilby hat, and you notice him walk from one monitor, which is a shopping mall, into another, which is a field with corn blowing in the breeze. Fuck. And that's all you get. Uh, okay, this is gonna sound a little weird, <laughs> um, right? Like, that's all of this. Have you looked where you're standing? <laughs> yeah, but this is like a whole nother level, JD. Uh, all right. So I think I, I think I, I touched your orb. Not really sure what that that. Well, I sure hope up. you plan on bringing me to dinner later. Uh, <laughs> uh, um, Laughs in character. <laughs> uh, but I, I saw, I saw a security kiosk with a bunch of with a bunch of monitors in it, and then not like the one up front. Did it look like the one up front? No. In the front door. No, it looked old, like an older... Looks kind of old, yeah. Older. It, it looked like it was like an older building from like... You remember you remember, remember the asylum we were at and it was like an old building? And then yes, it did, yeah, yes. It was kind of a little bit like that, but then like... It was screens, it was a bunch of screens, and they were like stacked on top of each other. And then there was like a, a bunch of different video feeds. It sounds completely crazy. I don't know why I'm picking this up. Normally, it's like ghosts being like, Ooh! but, but, and then there was a there was a man in like a in like a uh, a, a black suit. Can I tell how serious she's being? Is this? Can you? I'm not, I mean, I mean, I mean. Yeah. 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 Is, mean, there, like, is, there, is there a role for that? Because I want I want to know that like. Yeah, perception role. Because half of her stuff is like bullshit. Yeah, perception role. What's yeah. what's the perception? Um, what's for, uh, wits composure. Inside check me, bitch. <laughs> Inside check. Either way. Does Trace. She's totally serious. 100% serious. Wow. Serious is a heart attack. Anyway, so there's this man, and he's in a suit, and he has, like, a stupid hat on, and he, uh, 
He's got a briefcase, and the weird thing is, is he was in one camera feed, and it looked like a shopping mall. Looks like a shopping mall. I mean, you don't have to tell the whole thing. You can <laughs> and, then, just... and then he goes to the other screen, and he's like, in some corn. He's in corn. Like cornfield. Wow. Okay. That's really something. Man with a briefcase, mall, security station, cornfield. Hey, listen, I'm just telling you what I saw. I, I, I... Like I said, I, th- I told you it was going to sound stupid. You know, JD, I really, I'm so glad you brought your friends. It's, this is just awesome. I, I'm so excited to see the work of a real witch. Yeah. You are really something, Miss Darla. Listen, I'm not stupid. I know when you're making fun of me. I'm just telling you, that's what I saw. To I be did. fair, that's just kind of how she talks. And just because <laughs> I'm from the South doesn't make me stupid. Thanks. I was just trying to help out. Does any of that mean anything to you guys? No. <laughs> I mean, I'm just I mean, this, asking. This is crazy. It's your thing. You're, you're calling things crazy. And Carver just kind of shrugs and puts his, his hands kind of on his like lapel and he's like, well, I mean, we're modernizing dark matter with 1970s computers. So, I mean, I guess it's not the weirdest thing I ever heard. If I could. Mm-hmm. I, I'd like to... Ask Charlie if he knows anything about swinging black balls. Uh, is that exactly how you're going to ask Well, son, if that's the kind of advice you're looking for, I'm afraid I can't help you, all right? Um, Do they normally just... orbit women in uh, wheelchairs? Occasionally, yes. Oh. But that's really up to the woman. Wow. <laughs> Well, she said and it if was I'm, more, more if like I'm a being curse, honest, Charlie. all right, it it don't matter the color, all right. You just gotta treat them gentle because ain't nobody like their balls well, well, being crushed. I, I can't see it, so I don't know how to interface with it. <laughs> well, the all right. So first of all, you want to make sure you're on level, all right, okay. and just cup them gently. I can't. I can't see it, Charlie. It's invisible. <laughs> oh, you blindfolded? Oh, you kinky little shit! I had no idea. I'm not right, blindfolded. Right. So if Charlie. you can't see them, then you just gotta lean in. Okay. And and wait till you feel them on your mouth. I'm supposed to eat it? Vic can if you feel want. this from the Uber home. Char- I mean if Char- you, I mean if you want to. I mean you don't gotta. Most yeah. most guys just like a little sensation, John, you know. Yeah, she's, she's, she's got all of these cameras set up and all this old <laughs> equipment recording it. And and she, Hang on. she Im- Are you Did they did you you signed a waiver? Did they make you sign a waiver? They oh, can't no. put you on the internet I'm without your permission. I'm for free for a friend. What? <laughs> oh, okay, now, son, I know this ain't none of my business, and I know I, I'm an old, old coot, oh, but sure. you really ought to get paid for this. Oh, I think so, too. And uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll mention that to her. But, uh, but I really, uh, she said... Wait, so are you in, like, a threesome? Uh, What? Well, you, you're talking about touching some black guy's balls, and then what? you're saying she, what? so I'm, I'm assuming there's a Charlie, girl there, too. excuse yourself, sir. Well, you asked me about swinging black balls. What am I supposed to think? It was a curse. I explained this. <laughs> All right, let's, you know, I think we had a miscommunication. I sure, think we ought sure, to start this sure. conversation okay. over. So, Charlie, uh, this uh, woman that's a friend of JD's explained to me that, uh, her family's cursed, and that there's a dark orb oh, circling her. Oh, wow. I, I took can, that the wrong way. I can't see the dark orb. Uh, mm. I can feel that something's there. I don't know what it is. Uh, have you heard of anything like that? Oh, no. I, I, I got nothing to tell you about that. Sorry, son. Okay. But if it's a sex question, you can come to me. I want you to know, uh, no shame if you're curious. I won't sleep with you, but oh. we can find someone who will help you out with that. Uh, thanks, Charlie. Good play. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about Horrifying. sex things. I'm on the job. <laughs> what the hell, guy? <laughs> How did we get here? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Uncanny Valley Cancer Cell is created and produced by Buckle Nagel and Stephen Pope. The players are Garrett Schmigel as Vic, Deanna Venable as Darla, Michael Morris as JD, Stephen Pope as James Wolfe, and John Tompkins as Mason, with Buckle Nagel running the game. Hunter the Vigil 2nd Edition is produced and published by Onyx Path Publishing. 
Find us online at Uncanny Show on Twitter and www.uncannyvalleyshow.com. Make sure you check out Wild Cards, Experience Pointers, and other Saving Throw Show productions on the Saving Throw Network. And hey, have a good night. <laughs>